Today I'm going to give a brief lightning talk. Brief, I hope it won't be big to you. It's from IOTA to stateful uh, Lambda. So, we write code. We would like to write some tests that test our code. And uh, many times you just need to fill up some collection with artificial data to run your test. Now, uh, this method is frequently uh, being used, just hard coding uh, collection of uh, items. And uh, the, there's, the big problem with this is, one, it's not taking uh, the intention. You don't know why did I stop with J? What is the reason? Uh, and the second one, if the initialization is of more complex objects, then we are increasing the chance of making some mistake while coding uh, the data. We would like to have something, uh, we would like to fill up our uh, vector over here in some more sw smarter way, uh, preferably using some algorithm in the standard library. So the first algorithm is IOTA, a new invention of uh, C++ uh, 11. And uh, what it does, it takes begin and end iterators, uh, initial value, and uh, uh, applying uh, the increment F operator one by one until it reaches the end. So we want to fill up our vector with, with our letters, then it, we have a, a fairly consistent way and it's much more clear and less uh, error prone. The problem uh, with this method that it is only working for simplistic cases uh, where you need to fill up a simple range with ever increasing uh, value or decreasing. But if you want to do something more complex, a more complex initialization of our uh, vector, we would need to do, uh, we would need to use something else. And this is where our stateful Lambda comes in. Now, what is a stateful lambda? Just let's look at the lambda over here. Uh, stateful lambda is a C14, new in C14, and it uh, enables us, it's a feature that enables us to put uh, or define a new variable and initialize them in the initialization list over here. And then not only we can initialize them, we can further mutate them and they are being called each, on each call of the lambda, we get the same uh, uh, variable updated. <coughs> that also make us, uh, uh, makes the lambda uh, mutable. So now we have, again, our example where we uh, filled up our uh, vector with the uh, letters, but now, and, and then we can use uh, the algorithm uh, of the generate. There are a few, few algorithms in the family of generate here. We're using, I'm using the generate n to uh, create uh, the members of our vector here. You just need to put the back inserter and the vectors keep filling up as much as needed. Each uh, element uh, being called from the lambda or generated from the lambda. So if we want to put, but what if we want to do some more complex initialization? Um, for example, let's take a look at this uh, uh, struct of employees. You want to fill up and you want to fill the different, uh, uh, the different fields of the struct using uh, various uh, methods. So we can just define some initializers of various types. We can uh, calculate them or make calculate one based upon the other. So we have here um, two variables. I'm using uh, the i and the join. The join is a date type, the i is an integer. And at the end, I just create the returned object, synthetic ID, synthetic name, joining date, department, and it's all uh, there.
Okay, uh, these are the references, mostly come from CPP Weekly, and the slides and code samples I've just shown will be available on our site. Thank you. Thank you.